family and friends of the Seaview Tabernacle. Welcome to this another Bible study from your host, Pastor Horace Forbes. Today, he concludes the, the teaching, demon, the, the theme, the demons in the church, the local church. Today's topic is um, deliverance of demons in the local church. Turn with me in your Bibles to Colossians 1, verse 13. Pastor Paul, it's over to you. Who uh, deliver us from the power of darkness and uh, translated us into the kingdom of his dear son, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Today, as we go into Bible study, we have been studying about the demons in the local church. Demons cannot be in the body of Christ. It can only um, affect all the body people, the body of Christ, but it cannot uh, indwell or possess the body. And so we want to re realize that as we go into our Bible study. Let us pray. Father, we just want to thank you for today. Ask that you guide us, Lord, and protect us. And Lord, we know that we wrestle not against flesh and blood. And we see the fights that we are getting with this broadcast. But in your name, Jesus, I stand in your name and claim the victory that this broadcast will be able to go and pastor will be able to deliver. We pray also for our brother, son Martin, who is suffering and he has asked us to pray for him. Lord, even now, Lord, even now, visit him, Lord, and pray that you will touch him and everything will be all right. Bless us now, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. I just, before I turn over to Pastor, I just ask you to like, um, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Pastor, over to you. Thank you very much, Sister Forbes. Colossians chapter 1 and verse 13. And we are talking about deliverance from demonic obsession, influence, and particularly those that are enslaved by demons within the local church, not within the body of believers but within the local church. And therefore believers can be injured, they can be bound, and they can be oppressed and enslaved by demonic powers. Because the Apostle Paul in his ministry felt, yes, felt the dynamic seducing spirit in his lifetime. But in my personal experience, I remember there were three, two sisters who I believe were oppressed and enslaved by some alien spirit. You want to call them demons. And therefore, they got into contention and could not be controlled. Not willing to take order from the deacons and pastor. And brethren, they were in a tense of flaring up. And therefore, it could be that they were influenced by demons. I went to a funeral. One could feel the demonic atmosphere. In the choir, and there was a halo of cloud hanging over the, 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 the choir. As a pastor, I inquired what was happening. And brethren, there were members in the choir who were not speaking, and yet they were going to sing to people. The church also 
should expose the craft and power of demonic spirit and point to the way of deliverance because those people need deliverance. So as a church, we are empowered and endued with necessary power and authority from the risen Lord. He gave authority to disciples to cast out evil spirit. And therefore, you and I should exercise the power that is given to us. And we can't allow our members to be enslaved and to conduct themselves not accordingly. Because we are in a spiritual warfare and we are fighting against the powers of darkness. And we should be able to cast out demons and bind in the force of evil and loosen victims from satanic enslavement. The church is responsibility is to use the gift of deliverance within the local church. Because the church, so to say, is experiencing a complexity of activities of attack mm. among the believers. And sometimes we wonder why this could be happening among believers. So in the church, we are experiencing emotional problem, mental problem, social problem. It could be spiritual problem. And the church needs spiritual deliverance from satanic attack. Firstly, deliverance from mental disorder. This is the sickness of the mind. And these ungodly men work on the minds of people and it, it affects believers' behavior. The way how they behave you can see that you are influenced by the spirit. And therefore in the church, there is always conflict and confusion and contention. The devil would want to tell believers that others are fighting against them. And this brings a stressful activities in the church. Our believers who once were sound in doctrine, kind and firm in public, begin to embarrass themselves in public and start to avoid church, not coming to church anymore because of what mental disorder. And people like these need deliverance. Secondly, Deliverance from mental depression. Elijah felt this after a revival in Israel. Yes. First King chapter 18 verse 4. He sat down under a juniper tree. Brethren, he was depressed. He was isolated. Jezebel sent a messenger to him. And he was afraid because of this demonic woman, a man of God, a servant of God, was depressed, having done a tremendous job. And David was in the same situation. Why has thou cast down my soul? He felt it. And Satan seemed to attack God's people with depression. Mm. He sees, he loves to enjoy rendering Christian through depression. He likes this. And he likes to see when believers are depressed. So Christians can face certain problems in their surrounding. And in the church, over the death of loved ones, could be sad, bring sadness, inability to worship God, mm. not worshiping the Lord the way that person always did. Our church needs good, mature Christian to prevent 
the depressed to seek other system. Because when people are depressed in the church, the tendency is to go down to Egypt to find other God. But God is our source. God is our sustainer. And God is also our supplier. So in the church, members allow themselves to be led astray by anger and holding grudges towards each other. In 3 John chapter 9, as one chapter about verse 9 and 10, there's a man by name of Diatrophis. He was a slanderer. He was an evil worker. He was an opposer. And he was casting people out of the church. Why? Because he had a mental problem in the local church. And he was allowing demons to use him right there in the church. And therefore God wants us to confess our sins. And solve our problem and stay away from depression. If believers feel a state of mental depression, mental uh, disorder, and worklessness, the devil is at work. And lastly, deliverance from mental discouragement. Mm. This is one of the things that the devil uses in the local church to enslave believers depression and the Christian life must be lived joyfully in the power of the spirit this life can only be lived in the strength of the Lord not in our strength the Bible said I can do all things to Christ who strengtheneth me and when we fail discouragement set in and Satan continues to work on us to keep us down. He wants to keep us down. And this is not the lifestyle of the Lord. Mm. This is not the will of God for us to be down. And the believers who are oppressed by demons should get help from other members in the body of Christ. We need to get back to the intimacy of God. Live near to the Lord. Believers are not free from problems. But our source and strength come from God. Who is our present help in time of need. And believers need to spend time by using the word of God. To encourage and to accomplish spiritual strength by loving studying and meditating on the word by this a person receives tremendous help in overcoming bondage of oppression so if you are oppressed and depressed and enslaved and bound by the hands of the devil you need deliverance from the Lord. And prayer is another source for helping us to overcome mm -hmm. spending time God. with God in prayer. A person can call on the power of God who is always available to all his children. Mm -hmm. God is not far from you. He's near. And he wants to deliver us. God does not want his children to be oppressed or vexed or bound or enslaved by demons. He wants us to live a victorious life. Oh, that we we'll see ourselves as we are and get help from God. He's always there to deliver us. Bless to us now your word. Help us to realize who we are, that we are your children. Help us to present ourselves to you so that we can be delivered. You have taken us out of the, the, the kingdom of darkness and you have delivered us and put us into your own kingdom. And the devil would want to bring disorder, 
depression and discouragement on us. But in the name of Jesus Christ, today, we claim the victory. Bless your words to heart and glorify yourself in us, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.